and far away. They just do not need their ideas. They should live their own life. But they have the big bear on the right, that is Russia. Yeah. That is much better than all the European Union. And so, for example, if um, I'm here, yeah, uh, next to uh, my big brother who is a boxer, yeah, who has uh, the gun in his, um, in his hand and uh, someone uh, wants to kill me, uh, why should I uh, go in the street uh, and ask uh, for someone's protection if I have here the right protection here on the right? So the people uh, of the European Union should just understand that uh, if they stop seeing uh, uh, the Russia uh, like uh, the evil empire, but uh, when they will see that, uh, like uh, the real, like the partner and like friend, uh, the, uh, then the USA will get the big fist in their asshole. And uh, they, we just do not need USA at all. They couldn't live on their own continent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Why? Why do we need USA? We have uh, we have oil uh, first of all uh, in Europe. We have gas. Here. Uh, we have agriculture, we have food, yeah? we have machinery. What else USA can give us nowadays? And even if now uh, Europe is against with other, like always it was, even uh, when, God, when God was making the world, he created Eurasia. Eurasia. Together, yeah? Eurasia, yeah. He, he made it uh, one big continent, yeah. So uh, maybe we should live in that way. Yeah. Eurasianism is, uh, you know, I think Eurasianism, Eurasianism is a big ideology, you know, with great perspectives, and uh, someday it will replace the Euro-Atlanticism. And you are absolutely right. The U.S. should uh, focus uh, with affairs with their own, should mind their own business, yes, mind their own business on their con continent, and do not, uh, you know, stick their nose in Eurasia. So, um, with Mexico, yeah, for example, with some kind of Latin American countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, are many, there are many local conflicts, yeah. yeah. I think those people also need a kind of uh, some, some piece of uh, USA democracy. <laughs> yeah. why, why Europe? Why Africa? Yeah. yeah, well, you know, the only power I think that uh, is capable of, uh, you know, standing up to NATO, to the not just USA, but the all of NATO and the allies uh, slash puppets of the US, the only power in the world which is capable of is BRICS. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. I think the future is with BRICS. Do you share my opinion? Uh, yes, as I said, uh, that now is the time of uh, BRICS, and uh, but the, but just uh, that, that community, yeah, that union, uh, should try to make as uh, as much as possible, yeah, uh, um, in economic in economy in the international conflict. Uh, but I think that uh, Europe Union will. Uh, even I don't want to say Europe Union as it's really over, yeah, when people are uh, building uh, uh, are building the borders, yeah, it's not more the Union anymore. That uh, the government and the people of this country should understand that it's better to unite to that side. As, uh, for example, uh, there is um, no way of using their own economy, uh, economy prob problems, for example, economical, uh, that are really now hidden even in some more time in the media. Yeah, as, as we know now that uh, most of the things of the world are made in China. Yeah, yeah. they most. Most of people live in India, yeah. So uh, there are hands, uh, uh, all the hands of uh, the world are in that side, yeah, for example. What's making now Europe? Europe now is uh, like the, just a museum, yeah, with beautiful houses, yeah, with theaters, uh, with uh, culture and nothing more. Yeah. They just couldn't propose anything for, uh, for the future life. They even don't have their own armies. If uh, NATO, yeah, if NATO will disappear, what they will have? One tank in, other, in one land, one tank in another land. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's really the, the, power, the powerful um, country. Why also is uh, 
the future of BRICS as uh, most of people yeah, uh, were always thinking in Europe or in USA that they are nations number one. Who are those Russians? Yeah, drinking vodka with beer. Who are those Chinese? They're fucking communists. Yeah, who are those Indians? Yeah, they're, they're poor, uh, poor prostitutes. They were always that mind. Uh, but uh, those countries, yeah, were living their own life. Yeah, they were growing, 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 growing. And um, now... Uh, they just all also the lie of the media they uh, say that BRICS is nothing. Yeah, BRICS is uh, really BRICS is a big power, but uh, uh, just you say don't want that shit. anyone could understand that that now they do not rule the world anymore. Yeah, and the events unfolding in Syria is showing it pretty clear that the U.S. are losing their influence, their power, and they are not the ruler of the world anymore. The world is uh, transforming, it's becoming, it's transformation from a unipolar world to multipolar world. Yes, and uh, but in the, but the process is just the, the, the human cost, the so many lives, so many blood sh bloodshed. Well, uh, I just hope that the world will never plunge into nuclear uh, third world <laughs> war. Everything will just disappear. No one, no one need this. Yeah. Yeah. No I one need this. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you. I have nothing to ask you. Maybe you. Maybe you would like to add something. Um, yeah. I think uh, what is interesting just now for me is uh, the role of religion. Yeah. Now in the, today's uh, information war, we can say so. As um, even if uh, now. To, to see uh, some popular Russian uh, social network publics here, uh, we could see that uh, there are too much uh, black jokes about the Christian religion. Uh, about so um, that is just the tactic, uh, like was made by the communists. Yeah, uh, when uh, people have one ideology, yeah, when they have something that unites them. Uh, for example, by the time of the Russian Empire, yeah. Um, all the all people were Christians. Yeah, that was uh, that belief uh, united them, and uh, then the communists, of course, ruined the churches because uh, they should uh, ch change that belief uh, with the belief in communism. And nowadays, someone again is trying to uh, destroy the belief of uh, Russian people to the Christian. Uh, so. Um, who is making there? I think also that is a kind of uh, American, of 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 American uh, strategy, yeah, with the information war, uh, just uh, to put inside yeah some other ideals, ideals of alcohol, of uh, homosexualism, yeah, uh, what what is really in Russia? Uh, they will just uh, put it instead of uh, some kind uh, religion beliefs and. Uh, Muslim people, Muslim people uh, show uh, really the big union now uh, that uh, they really live uh, for their religion, and so um, to my mind uh, that uh, there will be in a, the third big power in uh, uh, the world, like the power of Muslim people of uh, the union of uh, some Muslim states, and uh, so it's really interesting now uh, who will join. Uh, uh, that side and as for me the real uh, war now uh, is the war for Muslim people so USA want to get the control of Mus of uh, Islam I can even say so, say so. Uh, as uh, those people are really religious and if they get uh, uh, the control uh, under their religion yeah, as for example, the Islamic State is uh, nothing else like just uh, um, the real good changed uh, Quran, yeah, Islam, uh, in some radical to some radical side. Yeah, and so uh, that war uh, is for those people. And so I think uh, that another step of BRICS countries should be the union with uh, their Muslim world. Maybe that, that is uh, that was interesting idea that I just wanted to add. Yeah, but you know, I see that the religion here in Russia, you know, it's it's kind of uh, 
you know, it's there is a kind of religious renaissance here in Russia. I mean, the orthodox religious renaissance, and there are still people who are atheists, and uh, but uh, and you know, not just atheists, but uh, those people who you know try to mock orthodox church, try to say this is outdated institution. For example, all of uh, Russian so-called uh, liberal oppos opposition, so-called, uh, but, but in reality they are just uh, traitors paid by the West. They say that the orthodoxy is uh, evil and orthodoxy is outdated. Yeah, that, that was what I was talking about, that on those uh, public, uh, on the social yeah. networks, yeah, we see those bad jokes about the yeah. orthodox. Yeah, but the people, the people, the ordinary people, I just see that the, the religious uprising, the religious renaissance, I think it is good. It is a good thing, and uh, you know we are some sort of opposing. We are oppo the opposed the European. You know the the lack of spirituality. Should I say yes? Yeah, spirituality. I think, you know people are returning to their religious roots, to to traditional roots, and I think that traditionalism is something that will you know save Europe from complete you know extinction. Ext yeah, that is. That is. Yeah. So I think we should stop here. Thank you so so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it has been a great pleasure for me to have you here on my channel. Thank you so so much. And um, I think we should stop here. That's a wrap. That, that'll yeah, do. I want also to say big thanks to you. As uh, for me, it's really important that uh, people in EU or in USA could hear the real opinion of Ukrainian yeah. people, not that it's shown on their media. Yeah, thank you. absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I, I agree with you. And um, I hope to to see you again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I really do. I hope because it's for me it's it has been a great pleasure and honor to have you. So yeah, bye bye. See you. Yeah, see you around. Everyone. See bye. you soon.